Well, it's been a snowy winter for most of the country, but instead of dreaming of sunshine and beaches, let's lean into winter. Let's do it. Lifestyle expert Lindsay Myers is on location. She's joining us from Breckenridge, Colorado, home of the annual Snow Sculpting Championship. Lindsay, how's it going? Hi, guys. Oh, my gosh. Look at this. I'm in winter wonderland, Breckenridge, Colorado. Of course, they have skiing, but we're going to break down all the amazing other activities you can do here. I mean, and look at this behind me, right here. Look at this. Wow. wow. That's impressive. So what exactly is the Snow Sculpting Championship? What, what goes on there? So it's the 31st annual. It's the International Snow Sculpting Competition. So we're talking about people come from around the world. They have about 94 hours to create these masterpieces. They're unbelievable, and they do it with only hand tools. What? Wow. Look how pretty that is at night right there. And Lindsay, is it true you got in on the action? How'd you do? I mean, I have no idea what they were thinking, <laughs> getting me involved. I was terrified to mess up their beautiful artwork, but they let me, They, I did this corkscrew, I did all these hand tools, I created the doorknob for them. Oh, cool. I mean, it was unbelievable. They have teams around the world. We have nine teams this year. We have Look Ecuador, we have Germany, mm. we have Mexico, the United States. It's a community, it's amazing, it's beautiful, and so much fun, also harder than it looks. So, Lindsay, I've been chewing on some beef jerky you sent and sipping on uh, a little bourbon. I can tell Ooh, I what we got going bourbon. on right here. Okay, you know, I always send you something, something delicious and something from where I Ooh, am to make you feel like you're with yeah. the spirit. So you have the OB1, it's from, it's from Breckenridge Distillery here locally. You also have boozy nuts as well as boozy jerky. So you got a little protein and a little boozy at the exact same time. What do you think? How delicious is it? Oh, delicious. I like the combo. The this combo is, is great. This cocktail is just yeah. sensational. So smooth. No, this is nice. And there's a lot of different stuff to do. They're obviously skiing and stuff, but I hear you can also go dog sledding. Oh my gosh. I don't know if you guys have gone dog sledding. I did it through Good Times Avengers. It was so much fun. How cool. I mean, I had the time of my life. You are free with the huskies in the mountains going through the snow. I mean, you're on the sled. You also can be the back and you're kind of driving it and leaning and turning. I mean, it's magical and so much fun. They're having the time of their life. You're basically on the ride with them running through the mountains. Yeah. They take such great care of them. They have 143 huskies. Wow. And once they retire, you actually can adopt them. And they basically become uh -huh. mascots of Breckenridge. They're everywhere here. The community loves it. Oh, that's awesome. That's like the Iditarod, but yeah. for just a yes. little while. <laughs> I fell in love with They're all the huskies. They're gorgeous and so friendly. Oh. Well, that's the dogs. Also, you went riding on a snowcat. How was that? Ooh. Oh my gosh, snowcat is the way to go. This is like luxury mm. through the snow. We're talking about, so Breckenridge Nordic Center, they bring them in from Italy. They make them in the same place they make Ferraris. So look at that. You have, it's all glass. Oh, it's wow. heated inside. And you get to go through the protective wildlife. It's you get to see moose, you can see elk. They even stop at a cabin from the 1800s where you can have a pot chocolate and s'mores. I mean, it's like a luxury liner. It's perfect for people of all ages, especially for families. Wow, Lindsay, you always get the um, coolest trips here. And, and obviously, <laughs> I mentioned skiing, I know it's big there, but you could literally ski right from your hotel, right? Ah, uh, exactly. So the great thing about Breckenridge, of course they have the five peaks that they're famous for. So I highly suggest you get on the slopes. Hey, I tried my best. I'm not the best skier, I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> but it's so, <laughs> look at me, a little struggler, but it's so much fun. I mean, that's the whole part of it, is to Here get goes. out there. And all the hotels are all, it's a walkable city, so you don't even have to drive around. You don't even have to take a car here. That's the beauty of it. You can basically be at your hotel and be on the slopes in two seconds. They also have the highest chairlift here in all of North America. Oh, it's wow. almost 13,000 feet above sea level. Whoa. I always get nervous. By the way, do you, go to, do you fly to Denver and then take a little puddle jumper or? Exactly. You fly to Denver and then we're talking about it's about an hour and a half, two hour drive from there. It's oh, the easiest trip to get to and you're in winter wonderland in no time. Nice. Uh, Lindsay, by the way, I was giggling with you on skis because you look so adorable, but right now you brought someone with you or you have someone that can show us how to do a little snow sculpturing. Introduce us. All right, so Keith, come on up. He is the captain of Team Brack here for creating beautiful sculptures. So he wanted to talk to you for a second about how much it means to him to create this art and all the people that come here to view it from around the world. It's super special to be able to work in such an atmosphere of Breckenridge with conditions are perfect for what we're doing. But it's really awesome to have such an impact on the people that are viewing the sculptures. We truly, truly try to express our 
emotions through our sculpture and we really want people to come up and feel what we're trying to express through that and when you have people interact with you and tell you how much they were moved by the sculpture that's what we're really after that's and are you guys awesome. ready for this yeah he's yeah. gonna trust me to have a chainsaw to cut some snow in half don't, don't lose a limb right, let's do this Rock and i roll, have some chops Lindsay. on and i'm gonna be protected okay here we go what could possibly go wrong oh my god yeah. Yes, Lindsay. Yes. Get in there, Lindsay. You got this. You got this. Go. Woo! Hey! Watch your leg. Watch your leg. Cut it hey! to the side. There she goes. That was like butter. <laughs> like butter. Thank you, Lindsay. Thanks, Keith. Thanks, Lindsay. Great job, as great always. Great job. Listen, for more great travel tips, be sure to get uh, Lindsay's website. Check it out. Get lost with Lindsay. By the way, kind of my favorite cocktail. You like this? Salute. Nice.